What's up, everyone? 我是麦克老师。今天我们来听一听林志玲的英语到底如何。头抖了一下，乌龟怎么说呀 ？Turtle， 好可爱。Turtle， 你记住了吗 ？Turtle，Turtle，Turtle， 想说他的头会缩进去。Turtle， 啊 ，Turtle， 啊。好，今天我们让林志玲当我们的英语老师。How's everyone doing today? I hope you're doing awesome. I thought today we would get away from the election and learn a little English. Before we get into that, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, and a share. I've got a lot of great English videos coming up, as well as some vlogs in my RV trip, and we're going to the Grand Canyon tomorrow. Should be a lot of fun. As far as I know, Linderling went to university in Toronto, so naturally. Her English is a very, very high level. Her husband is from Japan, and she also speaks fluent Japanese. 出钱さでいかがでしたか？那じゃあどうスチさんどうえ侯孝贤監督さんどう？ I want to specifically thank Rosetta Stone for sponsoring this video today. If you've never heard of Rosetta Stone, you must have been living in a cave. They've got over 25 years of history. Doing language learning software, and I remember when they first started, you had to buy these boxes of CDs, and you could only choose one language. Now you can have unlimited lifetime access to all of their languages for one low price of $199. Click the link below and check it out. I used this when I first came to China. It's how I got my start with my pronunciation. I would listen and repeat, listen and repeat. Mimic everything they're saying. Now, if you plan to travel after COVID is over, like I do, having access to 25 different languages is truly an unbelievable value for $199. Personally, I can't wait to start traveling again. I've always, always wanted to go to Israel. So if I just open the app here, I can choose from all these languages, including Hebrew. Of course, I'm going to choose the beginner plan. But if you knew some Hebrew, you could also choose intermediate, or if you're already fluent, you can choose proficient to maintain your current fluency level. So I can choose work, family, but I'm going to be traveling, so I'm going to choose the travel plan. So you can see, I'm going to be practicing my speaking, my listening, basic sentences, everyday items, colors and sizes. And as you can see here, I can skip language basics. I can go to shopping, dining. Life and world, and of course, they offer English as well. Let's look at some intermediate English. So, lesson 1.1 out of 39. Look at how many lessons are in this thing. I like to open my mouth and repeat what they're saying. Helps me to remember and practice pronunciation. This fence is broken. This fence is broken. They also have this extended learning feature, which I love. I like stories. You can listen and speak into it, and it will tell you where your pronunciation is right and wrong. Click the link below and check it out. Unlimited lifetime subscription to all their languages. You'll thank me when you take your next trip to a foreign country. All right, it's time to learn some English. Let's start with some phrases we can learn from Linderling. Try and、uh, I can open some oysters for you. Would you like raw oysters? Do you have the honor? Do you want to try that? Yes, for sure. Okay, here's a great way to agree with somebody. For sure. For sure. It's a great little word you can use to replace yes. For sure. Do you want to come to the Grand Canyon with me? For sure. Notice when we speak a little faster, the word for kind of becomes fur, just because it rhymes with sure. For sure. For sure. You don't actually need it. Pretty much. Pretty much. Here's another great little phrase to end a sentence. Pretty much. Chabadua. So are you sick of hearing about the election? Pretty much. So, do you eat rice with every meal? Pretty much. So, I will not regret any moment that I've been through. So,、um, because I cannot turn back the clock, so I just move on, move forward.、Yeah. Here's an interesting one: turn back the clock. You can say this fixed phrase when you want to express that you have no regrets, you can't change the past, you can only move on and look forward. So, just move on, move forward. Can't turn back the clock, or maybe some of us would like to turn back the clock. If you could turn back the clock, would you? If you could go back and change something, would you do it? For me, I don't think I would turn back the clock. Couldn't live without my Xiaomi. Actions speak louder than words. 
So does the person get a second day then? <laughs> Possibly. So I wasn't sure if this was Linderling talking or it was the interviewer, but it's a great phrase. Actions speak louder than words. Anybody can say this or that, but what do they do? Ah, I thought he was a good person, but then he stole a bunch of money from the company. Yep, actions speak louder than words. All right, let's look at some high-level vocab words with Linderling. We know that a lot of young girls, actually, they all look up to you as a role model, being the top model in Taiwan. You know, with lovely features, looking elegant, with good points. So maybe you'd like to share with us how do you upkeep this, or maybe give our ladies here some tips how to maintain and keep that look. Wow, I'm flattered. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, everyone hopes to be as beautiful as you are. <laughs> Thank you. I'm flattered, but... Um... Flatter, to flatter someone, or I'm flattered. This is a great replacement for the phrase, where, where, nali nali, oh, I'm flattered, oh, I'm flattered. Where, where makes no sense in English. I think so, yes, something that you make the trip memorable. Not to that extreme, I don't think I would say that. I'm not such an extreme person, you know. You find time to relax and find time to pamper yourself, find a time for yourself to, to maybe just read a book, drink a cup of coffee. Pamper or pamper yourself. This means just to spend a little money and treat yourself. Maybe get a massage or if you're a woman, get your nails done, go to the spa for a day. Relax yourself? No, just pamper yourself. I think it would be the smiles, the warmth. Uh, the service, room service, <laughs> and the room is very cozy and comfortable. It's cozy. It's not like you know a big or a very grand or, but it's very cozy, very homey, and it's a place, nice place to just gather everyone together. Cozy. This is a great word to use instead of comfortable. Cozy means it's cute, it's warm. You just want to spend a lot of time there. My RV is very cozy. I'll show you why in a video very soon. Contrary on the look, I'm very conservative. I'm a saver. Pretty conservative on this part. Conservative. Now we can use this word for all kinds of things. It could be how you dress, how you spend money, your politics, many, many things. I think some Americans should be more conservative when it comes to saving money. She says she's very conservative when it comes to money, but when it comes to modeling clothes, maybe not so conservative. Let's look at a part of her connected speech here. You don't actually need it. Now notice instead of saying need it, when she speaks quickly, it becomes need it. Need it. You don't actually need it. One little technique from a hard consonant like D to a soft I sound, I will really help your English sound like a native speaker. Need it versus need it. Need it. That's all I have for you today. Don't forget to check out the sponsor of today's video, Rosetta Stone. Click the link below, download the app, $199 unlimited lifetime subscription. Don't be left confused in another country again. So what do you think of Linger Ling's English? Please let me know below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, leave me a like, share the video around, and I hope you all stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy. Watch Michael Lauscher, Shatsu, Zai Jian.